George Little Jr. with the Mille Lacs Smallmouth Alliance, and uh, we're going to do the final video here late October. Actually, it's Halloween, so uh, can't get much later than that. But we have had uh, uh, some really good weather. Uh, the lake is uh, still very, very fishable. If it's open water, you can still catch smallmouth, but it does change. Going to talk about the baits, the different baits we use when that water gets from 55 to 45. Uh, big difference in, in the way that you fish those fish. So to start out with, uh, I'm going to talk about a blade bait. You can see right there, that's just something we haven't talked about all year long. And the reason is it's, it's more of a cold water bait. It's uh, very simple to use. You'll cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, your line uh, stops falling. Simply take up your slack, pick it up, off the bottom, it vibrates, let it fall back down. Pick it up, let it fall back down. You can fish it in five foot, you can fish it in 50 foot. Uh, just a very, very effective bait when that water gets this cold. Another bait that uh, becomes much more uh, of something that you'll always have tied on this time of the year, this water temperature is a football jig. You can see here, I've got a half ounce uh, you can use a bigger one if, if you want to, but this is a half ounce, you know, peanut butter jelly. Uh, you put your uh, trailer of choice on here and then uh, use dip and dye uh, if you like to sex it up a little bit. Then what we go to that you just need to have on as soon as that water gets in the 50s. And this particular bait works when the temperature is in the 50s and colder. So this also uh, is a very good bait to throw in the springtime before the water gets up into the 60s. Uh, throw this A-Rig. Now, I have a, a Minnesota style here, just one hook, and it's very small. Now I'll start out throwing this once I see bait balls uh, on, on my, uh, my locator. Um, and try to get some bites on this. Some days, this is the only thing they'll bite. Other days, you need the whole chandelier. Um, but uh, you've got to have one of these tied on uh, when that water temperature gets down uh, below 55, uh, all the way to 40. This thing will still work. Just the, the how you retrieve it, the speed you retrieve it, like any other bait. Got to make sure you have this tied on. I know jerk bait, you really can have it tied on all year long, but when the water gets colder, it becomes a staple. It becomes something that you want to have on uh, as part of your arsenal when you go fishing. You might even have a couple different colors, a couple different sizes, but the jerk bait really, really comes back into play uh, when that water gets into the 50s and lower, especially in October. Another one of my favorites, and I've talked about this through the year, uh, but a, a chatterbait. And uh, I've got a half ounce here. Uh, I, would, I would switch it up to a football type head chatterbait or a three quarter ounce chatterbait because this time of the year, water cooler, the bait really does need to be making contact. When it's warmer, you necessarily don't have to. You can just reel it in. But when it gets like this, we have much, much more success with some of the biggest fish in the lake uh, with a heavier chatterbait, very slow retrieve, actually feeling all the rocks. You'll feel the vibration, and all of a sudden, you won't feel the vibration, and it'll be swimming across the lake. So now I, I would be uh, remiss if I didn't talk about tubes. Tubes are uh, uh, by far the best smallmouth bait that's ever been uh, created. There's uh, a lot of momentum on some, you know, Ned rigs and so on and so forth, but uh, don't forget the tube. Now, when the water's uh, cooler, um, I use, it's smart to use a full size tube. This is uh, almost a four inch tube uh, and, uh, you know, put the, the, uh, the amount of lead in there that you need in order to fish it effect effectively and efficiently. Uh, make sure you've got enough weight in there so you're on the bottom. But a full-size tube this time of year is really, really important. The smaller tubes that we, that we normally use when it's warm out, you know, a little two and a half or, you know, July, August, September, uh, in mid-September till we quit fishing, 
I go to the bigger tube. And you know, the depth of water you need to be fishing uh, uh, this time of year in the, in the late fall is from five to 25. That make it easy? <laughs> the fish can be anywhere. Um, if I had to pick a depth, I would probably spend my time in 10 to 15, um, uh, always kind of looking out the other side to that 20 and 25, but 10 to 15 is gonna be a real good depth just to start fishing with everything that I've talked here about, you know, if, it, if it's the jerk bait, the A-rig, uh, the, uh, the, the heavy chatter bait, that's, that's kind of the area you wanna spend your time in. Now, if you're able to find green grass this time of year in, in Mille Lacs, like most anywhere, it's, it is really, really important to spend a little time there. You're gonna catch some fish. You might catch two, you might catch a hundred, but this time of year, the longer you can stay out, uh, and if you can find some, some green grass, that's money. I hope you uh, really did enjoy the, the uh, series of videos that the Mille Lacs Smallmouth Alliance put together for you this year. Uh, we're looking forward to a great 2023. Uh, and remember, uh, like and share these videos. You, you know what to do. But please become a member of the Smallmouth Alliance. Uh, we, we, we need your help. We want to be known as the Smallmouth Authority on Mille Lacs Lake. If anybody's got a question, please send them our way to our Facebook or our, uh, our YouTube channel. So uh, looking forward to a great 2023. And uh, as I said earlier, I hope you enjoyed these videos. See you at the lake.